Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back. So today I'm going to do a review on Eurocode's chassis braces, front and rear. So um, I've had these installed for a little while. Um, they're really top quality. Um, the bars are actually pretty light. Uh, the ends are uh, machine steel, uh, really durable. Um, and they also still leave you room to hook um, a cargo net to on both sides. So um, really well made and surprisingly light. The centers are made of aluminum um, and they're finished really well. I've just had these in for about a uh, year now and they've done really well on the track and uh, going to get groceries. So they actually just install right where the two cargo hooks used to be in the Mark 7. Um, one of the things I really like about this guys is that um, it's, it's very low to the bottom and it's a straight bar. There's no bends in it, um, which just means that the structural integrity of it front and rear um, is not compromised. You'll see a lot of strut tower braces that um, have bends in them, uh, which isn't bad. It's just um, a straight bar is definitely better than anything bent. Um, so yeah, it took me maybe uh, a couple minutes to install. Um, the front one uh, was a little bit longer, maybe 10 minutes, uh, but again, it still wasn't that bad. So um, yeah, well, let's go check out the front. All right, so here we are up front, and as you can see, it installs right underneath the cow. So it's actually very discreet, and you can't really even tell. Um, so basically, these uh, these braces install straight on to the strut tower, and then that bar just goes in between, uh, and then you actually twist it to tighten it. So as soon as you install these, you're going to instantly notice a lot more stiffness in the chassis. Just turning left to right in normal streets, you're going to notice that the whole body moves together instead of that little bit of flex. So what this is going to do is it's really going to improve turn-in. It's not going to really help too much with body roll, but what it will do is, I already have this matched up with the 25mm rear sway bar, so that allows the rear to kick out a little bit more than normal. And that really helps improve the turn-in, especially now that the chassis is really connected and you can really feel it in the steering now. Before, the steering was a little dull, a little light, um, but now the chassis just feels really together, really connected, um, and you could feel the road, uh, and, and it just responds immediately rather than a little bit of looseness before. Um, so yeah definitely uh, an improvement from where it started. So I'm gonna install the cowl again so you can kind of see after. Uh, and what it does, it just kind of goes straight along underneath and uh, you can't even see it once the cowl's on. So I'm gonna put that back on. So as I said, um, it's really great that you can really not even see these underneath the cowl. Uh, if you look at the engine bay, you can't even really tell that anything's in there. So Again, with the seats down, it barely interferes. It's not very far off the bottom of the trunk floor. Um, so it doesn't really interfere with space, which is great for somebody like me who uses this as a daily driver as well. So bottom line, Eurocode braces are great if you want to stuff in your chassis uh, and especially if you're using it as a daily driver. Um, obviously they're not going to be as stiff as a roll cage, um, but for somebody like me that uh, takes the, their car to the track frequently and also uses it daily, um, these things are great. So thanks for watching CB Racing. Thanks for watching CB Racing. Click that bell down below and subscribe to our channel and give us a big